Hey guys, during 3D camp today, the bendy bones lesson was probably uh, a lot to take in. So sorry if you guys got overwhelmed or had trouble following, but what I wanna do is create a video that you guys can follow step by step at your own pace. And hopefully you can be successful with rigging and animating this mushroom with bendy bones. Okay, um, in my notepad, I've got some, some steps written out for you, but I'll also be demonstrating, and a lot of this stuff I'm gonna be demonstrating, I'm, I'm not writing down every single little step. But first we need to create an armature, and we're gonna do that by hitting Shift A. All right, so let's start by hitting Shift A. When you hit Shift A, you'll get a, a menu to add something new. And so of course we're gonna choose armature. And when you create a new armature, it doesn't look like anything happened. Always check your outliner to see what's in your scene. You guys will see that there is a mushroom model and there is an armature. You just can't see it and that's because it's inside of the mushroom. Well, it's selected right now. You can tell it's selected because in the outliner it's orange. So I'm going to go over to my green armature menu. That looks like a running man here. And there's a sub menu in here called viewport display. If you check in front, you'll be able to see your bones. Okay, there it is. And we need to create three bones total. Okay, I want three bones total. I only have one right now. When you're making bones, you definitely want to be in edit mode. So let me just write here. Um, so there's step three, but I'm going to just add on to step two. And I'm just going to write edit mode, extrude two more bones. Okay, so check this out. I've got my armature selected and in the upper left hand corner I'm going to switch to edit mode and by default the top of the bone is going to be selected. Guys, when you're working with bones there's three places you can click. You can click on the tip, at the base, and then also in the middle that huge triangular portion. Well, I'm staying selected on the tip and if I hit G and the letter Z I can lower it along the Z axis and make it way smaller. So that's fine for the base. I'm going to extrude by hitting the letter E. So I hit the letter E and that gives me a second bone that I'm moving around. Now it's very free to move around. So I'm going to tap the letter Z so it stays locked in place. And I can just grow the second bone up to the cap. That looks good. And then I'm going to extrude again for my third bone and tap the letter Z and then confirm. So I've got three bones. It's time, it's, I think it's a good idea to name the bones. Which menu do we name the bones in? Well, there's one icon that looks like a bone and that's the green doggy biscuit down here. So I'll select that menu. I'm in the bone menu. And at the top, I can call this top bone, okay? Or cap bone. This bone in the middle, a good name for that would just be middle bones or middle bone. Eventually I'll change that to a bendy bone with segments. And then at the very bottom, this small one, I'll call that base bone. All right, so the bone menu is good for renaming your bones. All right, let's get to step number three. Okay, these bones are called octahedral because they're, they're, they've got, um, eight different faces. It's kind of like diamond triangle shapes here and there's eight of them so they're called octahedral shape. But if I go over to the green running man menu, I'll change the display from octahedral to B bone. Okay, that totally changes the look of them. They look more square. And with the, the bones in the middle selected, I've got the middle bone selected. I'm going to go to step number four and I'm adding six, let's change that to three. Let's just switch that to three segments. So I've got this middle bone selected and I'm gonna to go to the bone menu and there's a bendy bones menu here. I'll open that up and increase that to three. Okay. If you guys select the top bone and hit R to rotate, okay, you can see that those bendy bones bend along with it. I right click to cancel. If you hit G, you can also stretch them out. Okay, well, 
if I switch to pose mode, that's what that's the mode we use for animation. I can rotate again, but if I hit G to try to move the bone in pose mode, it's locked in there. I can't actually move it out of the way, so I have to unparent it. Do this in, in edit mode. Okay, so step number four, use Alt-P on the top bone while you're in edit mode. So guys, I'm in edit mode, I select this top bone, and Alt-P is the same as using Option-P if you're using an Apple computer. Okay, so for Mac users, hit app, hit option P, I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna hit alt P because I'm on a Windows machine, and then choose clear parent. If you test it out, you can hit the letter G, and this bone is now loose. Right click to cancel so it goes back, all right? We want it to be loose. Now, we want it to be loose for now, but I wanna be able to control the other bones with it while leaving it loose. So now it's time to switch to pose mode. Pose mode is where we add constraints. Okay. I'm going to go over to a new menu that pops up. Guys, you won't see this bone lock menu. This is called bone constraints. It looks like a bone going through an avocado or something like that. It's really a bone getting locked in. And you won't see that menu unless you're in um, pose mode. So if you're in edit mode, and you don't see that bone constraint menu, that should just be a reminder to switch back to pose mode. Now I'm, now I'm in pose mode, my, my middle bone is blue, and I'm selecting this bone constraint menu. From the drop down menu in the third column, I'm looking for a stretch to constraint. Okay, let me highlight that in my notes here. We're looking for a stretch to constraint. Kind of a weird name, but once you add a stretch to constraint, you have to pick who's the boss gonna be to control the stretch. Well, the boss is gonna be the top bone. And so in the target menu, I have I first have to choose the armature. Armature is just the name for all the bones, okay? So I'll choose, the boss is gonna be one of the bones, so I choose armature. And then you have to pick specifically which bone you want. I'm gonna to choose top bone as the boss. Now, if you select the top bone while in pose mode and hit R, I'm sorry, hit G, you can move it around. If you hit R, nothing happens, but uh, I'll show you how to fix that in a moment. Okay, before I show you how to fix, uh, how to make the rotation affect the, the bendy bones, let's just parent the whole mesh to the bones. Okay, that's gonna create a relationship between the bones and the mesh, and the bones will then control the mesh the bones will then control the mushroom and we can animate the bones. So up here in my, my mode menu, I'll switch back to object mode and you have to select the child first. So I'm selecting the mushroom first, hold shift to select the, the skeleton second and then hit control P, choose automatic weights. All right, if, if I'm moving too fast, you can always pause and then resume, but now that now that I parented the mesh to the bones with automatic weights, I'm gonna select the bones and switch to pose mode and see if it's working. And when I hit G, I can stretch this mushroom out. Okay, it looks good. Um, how, if I rotate, I can move the head of the mushroom, but I wanna be able to rotate and have some of the rotation get inherited by the bendy bones. So check this out. Select these three bendy bones, select the middle bone really and when you go to the bone menu, scroll down. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you guys where to click. There's a option for start handle, okay? Just to let you guys know, start handle for bendy bones is, means at the bottom. Okay, the start handle, we wanna choose absolute. Uh, the settings that we're choosing here don't really make sense right away. Uh, there's a lot of math involved, but uh, absolute, I'm not sure exactly what it means, but it, I think it's that when you have a rotation for the base bone, uh, that value gets gets used by the bendy bone. So I'm gonna choose base bone here for absolute, and you can notice that if I hit R, that rotation starts to affect the bendy bones right away. Let me go back to bendy bones. For the end handle, that's gonna be actually the top. 
I'm going to switch from automatic to absolute as well and choose top bone for that one. And now when I hit R on the top bone, you can see it actually rotate, starts to rotate the bendy bones, and that's important. Okay, now that our rig is created and, and our mesh is affected by it, you can start to animate this mushroom bouncing around and uh, acting all happy. Okay, guys, don't forget when you want to animate, use the letter I to set keyframes. And what I usually do is use my keying active set to location rotation scale, lock rot scale. Okay, lock rot scale. I'm going to shrink my timeline down to maybe just 30 frames. Middle mouse drag and zoom in. And from here, pretty easy to do some animation just by hitting the letter I. Okay, always hit A before you keyframe. I hit A and then I hit I. So my mushroom is squashing down. Let's just have it uh, jump up. Okay, looks good. Hit A for all, and then I, and let's see how that looks. Okay, it's jumping up, and of course we can make them land later, but I'm just gonna end the tutorial here so it doesn't get too long. This exercise is mainly about uh, setting, up, setting up the Bendy Bones rig, and here's some notes for you guys to take a look at. I hope that helps. Uh, let me make sure six goes down here. Okay. All right, guys, give that a shot and see you next time.